Well, hello there, beautiful cuties. Welcome to a special episode of a video being streamed or recorded off stream. The gamers, today it's time for the November. I forgot which month it was. Holy, I am. It's Jover. I forgot which month it was. Holy shit, I need help. All right. Uh, welcome to the November account goals, the final preparations before Voldis. This episode will have surprises throughout, so you want to make sure to watch the end. However, before we jump into it, you motherfucker, I see you sitting in your underwear. Maybe you're in your pajamas. You have your work laptop. You're writing an email to your boss saying, <coughs> I'm not going to make it, Pa. I got to take off December 13th. You're a liar. But you know who else is a liar? Everyone at twitch.tv slash Cardi. That's right. Yes, you, you could be part of the crew at twitch.tv slash Cardi. If you just click that link down below. Secondly, you want to make sure you join that community discourse. Fill the bunch of cutes just like yourself. And also like and subscribe to this channel. All right, wonderful boys. Let's just jump into this. All right, boys. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I'm on some straight normie shit. Okay, dude. Uh, there comes a point in this game where this video is going to be like, this month I'm working on gems. This month I'm working on, on honing. This month I'm working on gems. That is essentially uh, what this game turns into. <laughs> uh, but for real, this month I'm working on gems. <laughs> so this is the final roster. I think the big thing to talk about here is uh, the Aromancer has been sent to uh, the iPhone factory. Uh, the Aromancer is incredibly fast at making Nike shoes. She is able to make a shoe in 2.7 seconds. Uh, she is officially out. Thank the Lord. We brought in Fugma Zosma, which is my soul leader. I'm going to be honest, guys. If you guys are not playing this class, do yourself a favor. Make one. Do some hell mode. Do something with it. It is an incredibly fun class. Do not play the spec variant. Okay, dude, I have not played it yet. It looks stinky. It's the one thing that made me not want to play this class. And then I saw this, the crit swift variant. Mm. Full crit. Knight's Edge is... Mm, mm. Mm, mm. It's so fun. It is so fucking fun. I could play 40 of these characters. Warning. This character is still within new car smell territory. Uh, 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 user must ex expect caution. I don't know. I don't know the rest of the warning. I'm going to be honest. Uh, except, uh, ask your doctor about Lost Ark. So I made... I This is way too unhinged. Okay, so I made... <laughs> so later, she's really fun. I fucking love Fugma's Ozma. As a tradition in Lost Ark... When you make a new class, uh, you're depressed because you want to just play that class, but then you have to play your other five idiots to make money for that one class. Now, what are we looking like on this account? Now, last time we spoke, I wanted to build full level nines on the entire roster. Uh, after I came off of that insane fucking meth high or something, I was saying when I was when I was saying that, I realized something a little more convenient. It says it on the screen, convenient, perfect. Uh, instead, I decided to get four level nine damage gems for my entire roster. So as we speak right now, somewhere in the universe, uh, almost my full roster has level nine gems. Pretty much everyone except for the last two don't. So right now, everyone's looking like this, dude. Look at that. Oh, God damn. Damn, boy, that's hot. They got level 9 damage gems. Uh, the only characters that are missing now are... My Zerker has three level 9 damage gems, I believe. And then just my Slayer needs them. I did Slayer last just because uh, she's fucking broken. I'm going to be honest. My Slayer saw Legendary Ring. It's it's just an insanely broken class. Actually, almost everyone on my roster is pretty fucking broken except for Zerker and Gunslinger. Those are only two classes that are not broken, like, at all. Zerker is better than Gunslinger, I would say. Gunslinger is still not bad. But I love my Gia. She's fun as fuck to play. So that's going to be the goal. I originally wanted to get full level 9, uh, level nine gems, including, like, cooldowns and shit. I probably still will at some point. I think I'm gonna just that goal will be pushed back into the future. Uh, also, like realistically, when you look at the math on like level nine, like CD gems and shit, like you're saving like a second. You know what I mean? You're saving like a second of cooldowns. You're saving, you know, it's usually gonna be between like 0 0.7 to like, you know, one second of like CDR on some skills depending on the class. And like GS probably is a little bit more impactful just because like your skills, like that one second makes a pretty big difference because you do have downtime. Uh, for a lot of classes, it's going to be not kind of matter. Uh, something like, like Soul Leader, I think what I might do is when I go for CDR gems, I might not just be like, everyone gets four. It might just be like, okay, well, impactful skills. Like, let's say this class, getting a nice big CD gem on, like, Guillotine Swing and Reaper Scythe is kind of big because they're, that's, like, the skills you end up, like, waiting for in your rotation and shit. Uh, but, yeah. Once that is done, I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to be honest. I do have to focus on my main character, but I'm in a bit of a pickle when it comes to my glaive. I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't want to be a negative Nancy. I don't want to be a stinky Howard. I don't want to have a smelly-ass, fucking gaping-ass, motherfucking bussy-ass, broke-boy-ass, mugging like a gooch. Uh, but I don't... You know, listen. I like my glaive. Okay, guys? I like my glaive, but... 
I don't care about her like a main character. I'm going to be honest. I just don't. I just don't. I don't care about her like a main character. I don't like the changes. I miss Old Glaive. Even if I did Z, I actually miss Old Glaive. I know this is like an insanely unpopular opinion. I just miss it. I know I was going to be like, oh, Entropy is not that bad. I don't give a fuck about Entropy. Okay, dude, I was playing her Entropy before. The thing I fucking hate is the new rotation. It's stinky. It smells like fucking farts, dude. Hitting your Shackling Blue Dragon into a stance swap just feels fucking bad. The fucking ground explosion tripod feels fucking bad bad dude the downtime it feels kind of stinky okay dude i'm just gonna be honest it feels stinky and it's too bad because sometimes i'm playing on glavier and i'm like fuck this shit is sick and then i have downtime to think about my 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 discussion right i'm going through my rotation i'm like damn this class is sick and then the six seconds of downtime hits me and i think to myself why are we here what is the purpose of our existence why am i trapped within the grasp of glaive now the issue with this is I, if I do replace Glaive, uh, it costs a lot of money. I'm going to be honest here, boys. Or I just into my account for no reason. Because the thing is, I'm not going to take my Glaive out of my roster. I don't hate playing the class. It's just I don't have the main character motivation for it. And I'm going to tell you why it's important after this little segment here. But I don't have the main character motivation to push this bitch, right? And that becomes an issue because you need to push a fucking main character really, really hard. And if she stays in the roster, which she will, I'm not going to be kicking her out. I don't hate Glaive. Uh... She will continuously just get bound mats till the end of time, till I'm cold and fucking dead. And so you get into this weird paradox where it's like, okay, well, I'm going to just intentionally not hone her to just bring up someone else. And so the solution to this is, you guessed her, boys, MasterCard. And uh, it would cost a lot of money. I'd probably bring up either my SE or my Gunslinger, probably my Gunslinger, to be honest, because I really, really like GS as a main. But it's just to actually main swap would cost, and to actually put that character ahead would cost just like an absorb, just a fucking insane amount of money. Uh, and I don't want to spend, like, hundreds of dollars to do that. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it, especially the fact that, like, I'm not removing Glaive. If I hated her to the point where I didn't want to play her anymore at all, it would make sense to me. But the thing is that I still like playing the class. I think it's kind of chill. You know what I mean? Um, so, I don't know. We're in a bit of a kerfuffle, as some might say. Uh, but probably we're just going to keep playing her. And pray to God that, you know, in two years when she gets reworked again, they make her uh, a fucking uptime class again. And not, like, this pseudo-burst weird variant that every class is turning into. Now, for the Glavier goals. So, boys, I'm going to be honest. There's first thing you notice here that's kind of wrong with my character. You guessed it. I have owed oh, to quality ring. Shouldn't show them the video. Oh, shit. I'm embarrassed. Don't flame me. Uh, she's in Relic Jewelry. She has a two-quality ring, and uh, she's in a 5x3. All right. Um, her gems are looking a little destitute for a main character. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have a lowest city, though. You don't say fuck. Yeah. But uh, I want to get her 5x3 plus 1. Realistically, I think 5x3 plus 1 is the move, especially for a main character. The extra adrenaline is going to be pretty fucking nice, especially for a main character. Not having two quality ring going to be pretty nice, especially for a main character. The thing is, the reason why I don't really... And this is where the weird paradox thing is, right? I start to, I'm going to have to start really investing into her. I want to hone her as well. I want to get her to 1620 for Voldyke. Uh, and there's actually going to be a separate video coming out with what's happening with Voldyke for me, because I'm actually not going to be parking it on release, and I'll talk about it in that video. Uh, but for this little stinky goblin... Um, I do kind of need to start scaling up her power for not just Voldeck, but also for Thamine. Uh, I think what I might do is once the level 9 gem operation is finished, I think what I might do is I'm going to either rebuild her first or push her to Voldeck. The thing that's hard is, and this is why I feel like I need that main character inspiration for her, is that Glaive is pretty fucking broken, and I do pretty good damage on her, to be honest. I actually parse pretty well on her. Uh, I'm not the greatest Glaiver in the world by any, stretch of, by any stretch of imagination, but the class still performs quite well. The class is pretty fucking busted. It's very, very, very strong. Uh, and so combined that with having like pretty good uptime, like it, the class is pretty fucking nuts. I'm not going to lie. So I'm always like, ah, fuck it. Who cares? Like, I don't like her <laughs> enough. <laughs> like, bro, I'm going to be honest. I want to get my GS's 5x3 plus 1 first. I want to get my Soldier's 5x3 plus 1 first. <laughs> Zerker and Slayer can stay the way they are. But... Those two characters come to mind when I think of who I want to build next because uh, they're the characters I'm excited to play and they're the characters I'm excited to, like, I'm excited to give them power. Like, my my GS, I want to get her full nines. Bro, I should feel like that about this character, right? Because the thing is, after Voldyke, who cares about Voldyke, right? I'm not going to 1620. I need to evolve my mentality. The real problem here is that I want to do Thaming and I want to prog not the first. I don't think I'm going to beat the first. There's probably going to be, like, 18 speed hackers to do that first. But I do want to prog Thamine on its original difficulty. Now, if I get the first, cool. I don't think I will, but I do want to prog Thamine on its original difficulty. Bro, I can't walk into Thamine with this. 
You know what I'm saying? I can't walk. I just can't. I can't walk into Thamine with these fucking gems. It's 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 embarrassing, right? I would get bullied. They'd make fun of my shrimp dick. They'd be like, "Haha, you ha like you know what I mean? Like it's I don't want to get bullied again. You know what I mean? I don't want to be called fat. Like you know what I mean? Like come on, man. Thamine's gonna is is fucking mean. He's just fucking straight up mean. So I need to like realistically start getting tens. The only reason I have a singular level ten is because my homie Astro, shout out the homie Astro, uh, gave me a level ten gem when he quit. And this isn't even mine. It's it's technically leased. When he comes back to the game, I have to give it back. So this is a leased gem. I'm on. I am renting this gem uh, on the the foundation of friendship. So technically, I don't even own a level ten gem on my account yet. <laughs> so yeah, realistically, I have to start pumping some serious power into this character. I think in general, even if it was this, like let's say a main GS or whatever. I think I'd have an issue with this just because, like, and I'm going to be talking about this again in a separate other other video, but it's another topic I really want to talk about. But I don't like the idea of the game forcing me to focus on one character when I have to play six. That's going to be in its own separate video. But I really want to proc Thamine. It looks fun. I like challenging content. I'm going to be honest, guys. Hell mode is to the point where it's pretty much like, you know, I mean, everything is so strong right now. I think until we get Hell bro, like, we just dumpster everything. Uh, I mean, there's people doing like fucking like I think they people are parsing like like over four mil easily on like soldier and they're parsing like f like five point one is like cap. It's it's insane. It's actually fucking insane, right? The damage in this game is fucking nuts. After all these who works on all the new classes and stuff, so I like challenging prog style content. I think it's gonna be really really fun. It's something I'm really really excited for. But if I want to do it, I have to double down. And realistically, without G2G, getting level ten gems is very 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 expensive. And this is where like I think like man, if only. I had made six gunslingers at launch, then I would be unstoppable. Because realistically, if I take every single gem on my account, it's a sheet of tens. You know, with all of, all the nines I'm building and shit, I had built a sheet of tens, depending on the RNG on rolling damage or cooldown, obviously. But I would have a sheet of tens, right? So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm I I really really want to be able to prog Thamine the, the the whatever the the first difficulty. I can't what the fuck they call it, but the original difficulty, not normal, not hard. The actual unnerved ass fucking difficulty of the raid. I really 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 want to do that, but I cannot go in there with level sevens. Hell, I don't even know if I can go in there with full nines and a level ten gem. I don't fucking know. I think honestly, if I just do like my main three damage skills, right? If I get two more level ten damage gems, I think we're probably fine. If I get like and then level nines across the board, I will probably be cooking a little bit, and then I get a five by three plus one. We'll probably be good, and then be on eye level because you have to consider the fact that like yes, it's hard, but we're probably also gonna have guides, and we're also gonna have damage meters. So like. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of that is important, right? Because having the guide to tell you how to, like, you know, organize and communicate is, like, you know, super impactful when it comes to stuff like this. So that's the goal. This is a little rambly here. Hold on. I fucking just rap got it to you guys. But uh, main thing, finish off Operation Level 9 Gem. Operation Level 9 Gem was downsized because of our recent loss in the war to uh, the South Korean uh, small gate government, uh, realizing that full level 9s on a character is a lot of fucking money. Uh, I really want to build a 5x3 plus ones on my entire roster. I'm probably going to build Soul Leaders. I might end up building Soul Leaders early just because Soul Leader, I think, is going to be cheaper to build around now than it will be later on. Um, but then we're probably going to do main 5x3 plus one and then 1620 or vice versa. However, I decide to do it, I don't think it really matters. I'm, I doubt I'm going to not do like insanely busted damage in Voldyke even without 5x3 plus one because my class is busted. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I, don't know, this is just good. I think you could like just like you know, uptime is, is king, right? So uh, that's the goals. Expect the future videos that I tease in this in, in this video, they're going to be wacky, probably less unhinged just because today I'm feeling a little woohoo. And so maybe that day I'll feel more destitute and dark and unaware of why we live this unhappy existence. But if you want to live a happy existence, watch more of me. That's right. I sell you happiness. I am... A little mind goblin that lives within your walls. You have to feed me, but never feed me past midnight. Otherwise, I might get a little angry. I can't believe I'm posting this. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stop by the Twitch. I'm doing a 24-hour stream this Friday. Uh, we're going to open up, open up some, some, some fun little Christmas uh, surprises for you guys. We're going to be doing a Cubathon. So this Friday, I should have put this in the beginning of the video, but we're putting it here. This Friday, we're doing Cubathon. That's right. I'm running like 250 cubes across my entire account. The stream ends when the cubes are finished. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I just started playing the OSRS League. I'm having a lot of fun, and then I'm going to do something that I'm going to just fucking hate a Lost Ark. I'm fucking crazy, but I need the cubes. I want to get them done. I need the gold. It's like an insane amount of materials like it's actually an insane amount of everything so we're gonna do 250 cubes on a 24-hour stream be there 
Okay, bye. I love you, YouTube frogs. Enjoy this very rare, but I think very good off stream video. I love you guys. Be safe. Talk to strangers. Otherwise, you're gonna be a friendless bastard for your entire life. You'll never you'll never meet people if you don't talk to new people. You know what I'm saying? It's very important to make new friends, even as an adult. Okay, bye.